In this video, we're gonna show you guys how to set up your bike controls. Hey, I'm Tyler from the MX Factory. Today, we're gonna show you guys how to set up your basic bike controls, and there's five of them. Your front brake, your clutch, your rear brake, your shifter, and also your bar height. First thing we're gonna talk about is how to adjust your bars, and the reason for this is when you move your bars front and back, it's gonna adjust the actual angle of your lever. So you wanna get them set to the area that you like before you start messing with your levers. To access your bars, you just wanna pull the bar pad off, get it out of the way and access the bolts, and hopefully it's not as dirty as mine. Before you start adjusting anything and loosening these bolts up, you kinda of wanna find your starting point. So what we like to do here is put a line here, and also mark your bars right there. This is just a good reference to have your line and then have your line on your bars right below. That way you know which way you're moving and you can adjust accordingly. I loosened my bars up here because I'm going to show you a couple different positions. A taller rider will tend to roll them a little farther forward to get them out of their lap and give some room for their legs in the turns. Shorter rider, which I kind of fall into that category, but I don't like it. They'll roll the bars back a little to get it more in their lap and kind of feel a lower center of gravity. I generally like to run mine dead in line with the forks. I like it in the middle because when I stand up, it puts the bars in good position with my upper body and just feels right. It's a preference thing, but test from the bar line and move it back and forth and see how it feels for you. Make sure when you're tightening bolts, you tighten them evenly and you go crisscross pattern. So instead of going here, here, and tightening these two at one time, I want you to tighten here and come up and tighten here. And then go over here, tighten, and then tighten. And then you're just gonna kinda crisscross your way until all the bolts are tight. Now we're gonna move to our levers. This is another personal preference, but what I will say is you think about, and if you're in good attack position like this, you want your levers to flow in line with your fingers, if that makes sense. You do not want them to be too far down, because then your elbows would be up here to get to them, and also if you have shorter fingers, it's hard to get down there, especially when you're sitting. If your lever's too low and you're standing up, not too often that you'll need access to the clutch while you're back here, but you may. You may get in trouble and want to stop. If you're standing up, your grip doesn't promote getting down to this lever, right? Can't get to that thing! Can't stop! Can't stop! <laughs> so, it's another reason to keep it up nice and level. And you can move the bike and have your controls at your access. You also don't want your lever to be up here because it's gonna put a kink in your wrist. So when you land hard or you hitting some big braking bumps or whatever it could be, you're putting a lot of pressure on your wrist instead of your elbows in moving with the bike. So what I like to do is just go down, not too far down or not too far up, but it is slightly down. It's not level with the bars. It's maybe an inch towards the ground and it gives you a nice boxy feel and just comfort and it works with your elbows rather than into your wrists. Now we're gonna talk about our depth, meaning how far they're ran in on the handlebars. The first thing you wanna look at is when you close your clutch or your brake, that it's not overlapping the handlebar, so if you tip over, your, your lever's not breaking, the end of the bar takes the blow. The most important part of it, though, is that your good hand position needs to be lined up with the crevice of your clutch lever, and I know all levers are different, so it's gonna determine what bike you're on. A nice reference is, is from elbow to the tips of your fingers need to be kind of a straight line. You don't want your hand to be like this and you don't want it to be like this. So what I do, if my lever is way over here on the inside and I'm here, I'm going to have to have my hand like that to get it to the crevice. So I move it in farther on the bar here and then that way with a straight line, my middle finger, which is what I use, lands right in the middle of that crevice, elbow to finger. And that's also gonna determine where you put your controls on your bars. As you can see, I have my traction control here to give me a gap to where I can move my clutch lever in further on the bars to line up with my good hand position. Same thing goes over here. I have electric start, so I put it on the other side to get my front brake a little further in. I have smaller hands, so I run my levers closer to me. You can adjust them now on the newer bikes closer to the handlebar so I don't have to pull as far to get the engagement that I need. Moving over to the front brake side, it's the same guys, it, there, there's no difference. Maybe a little different feel because the lever is shaped a little differently, but the height and the inner you know, depth of it is all the same. Now it's time to talk about the level of your foot controls. And we're on the shift side here. The main thing you wanna look at here is you definitely don't want it too low. Your foot's gonna be vulnerable to the ground. It's just gonna be hard to get to. And then also too high is also hard to get to and you may 
take the chance of missing the gear. We like to use, you know, just a wrench to, to visually see. So you can see that this isn't completely level. It's slanted down just a little bit. The Fox boot that I wear has a pretty small toe box is what they call it. I wear a size 10 so it's not that small of a boot, but the gap in between my foot and the lever is small. So if you have a bigger boot, say a Garnet SG12 or something like that that has a bigger toe box, you may wanna go up one, but just stay in that range. You don't wanna to be too far up or too far down on this. So what we're gonna do here is pop this bolt out and I'll just show you, it's a pretty easy adjustment. There's splines inside of here that help you guide in the right direction or the wrong direction. So we'll pull it off and just move it up one, right? And then we'll take our little lever here to see what that did to our foot peg. That's a little high for my liking. I like it to be one spot lower, but what you don't want to do is set your stuff up here. We'll take a boot and you can kind of see how far to get your foot underneath there. That's just way too far. It's putting your knee up in this area and taking good body position and, and uh, throwing it out the window. So we'll go back to what I like to call level. Push it on there, take a little Loctite. Not a lot, just a dab. Yeah, perfect. Important that you get this in straight. You definitely don't want to force it in. So hold your lever down, nice and snug. You don't want that thing to come loose. And we're set. All right, so we're over to the brake side. This is an important side. You want this thing to be level to one spot above level. And the reason I say that is 90% of the braking that, that is done on a motorcycle should be done standing and with your weight off the back of the bike. So your foot is gonna have to point really far forward to get over if it's down here. You want the thing level, that way there's a nice platform to stand on while you're braking. If it's too far down, you're not gonna reach it. If it's too far up, you may accidentally be dragging it while you're riding and not knowing your toe may catch this edge here and wear your brake pads out and slow you down in general. On most bikes, there's two nuts back here that you have to brake loose the bottom one and you adjust this top one, play with that up and down to find the proper height. Uh, it's not too complicated, it's a pretty easy process, but it is an important one. All right, that's it guys, the levers are level. We're done. If you like that, there's some more videos over here and we're putting a lot of time into our Instagram. Make sure you follow us down here. We're posting videos every week and then also subscribe to us. We're so grateful for you. Thank you for watching. Adios.